ready for the tour? I'm ready. Are Let's, you guys ready? I don't think so. If they do more than you know, help me out with shipping your reptile, we will be doing a giveaway on this as well. What's up, YouTube? Do I have a vlog for you guys today? And guess who's still here with me? Yeah, yo. The What's man up, himself, guys? Noah Barcher. Make sure you guys go check out his YouTube and his Instagram. What? Information on in the description down below. But guys, we are over here at Superior Shipping Supplies. And let me tell you, man, they just let us know that they're going to give us an amazing, amazing discount for all of you. So before I get into detail, let me tell you a little bit about Superior Shipping Supplies. They are the place where I get all my reptile stuff from my boxes, my deli cups, and where I ship all my snacks from, where I get all the labels, bags, everything. You you name it, there's a place to be at. And they're gonna give us a full tour that's never been done before. Never. So we're the first ones there. And for the first week, they're gonna give you guys a 20% off of any shipping label. That's 20% off. That's what? a lot of money. That's and lot. then, dude, that's huge. You can't, you can't beat that. Boy. Then the second week, they're gonna give you 15% off. The third week, they're gonna add some free boxes oh, to ship God. your reptiles. Can it get any better dude, than that? Dude, you can't beat that oh. whatsoever. I am gonna have a promo code that I'm gonna put on the description down below. So guys, take advantage of this. This is really really huge so you ready for the tour i'm ready are let's, you guys ready i let, don't think so i i know i'm ready let's kind do of. this <laughs> let's go all right so here is the man right here here's the owner of superior shipping supplies right there Hi. so i know this is going to be a video on you know packaging snakes and sending them and thanks again for being very generous with that 20 percent off sure um but what's going on over here so we make these fruit fly lids. Yeah. That way the flies can breathe, but they can't get out. And then we also make cultures. And we sell these to stores and sell them to distributors. And, and that's why I didn't stay over here, that you guys don't just, you know, do shipping stuff. I mean, you guys have a lot of things going right. on over here. Well, we started, you know, in the pet industry. I own pet stores, you know. Yeah. I've had all the snakes, all the lizards. So, yeah. see, I'm not going to give you guys all the info. Yeah, we're going to do vlogs here like every month. But, man, trust me, they just don't help you out with shipping. I mean, they help you out with... I'll show you guys a little glimpse in the field. So Scott, what do we have going on over here? So here is, this whole wall is basically our pre-packed foam. So when somebody orders, if you order 50 pack or 100 pack, it's already packaged. So all we need to do is put a shipping label on it. That's why we don't have any back orders. Okay. There you go. I remember when I told you guys that they do more than, you know, helping out with shipping your reptile. Here's a little glimpse I was talking about. There's a lot more to come, right, Scott? Absolutely. So you, okay, so you have boxes, you have the foam, you have bags, you do deli cups, you do everything, right? Heat packs, just, ice packs. And another thing that they're really, really huge on is Reptazorb. And I mean, dude, a lot of you guys use it. You guys have hit me up before. So could you show us a little bit of your Reptazorb? Sure, absolutely. So what's going on over here, Scott? What's up with all these? What are these for? So these <laughs> these we can use inside of six inch containers. Yes. Yeah. You know, for, for bedding, for shows, nice and clean. And then we make these for the ARS plexiglass displays if you want to line them. So after we punch them, it's kind of what's left over. Nice. Scott, so what's all this over here? So these are templates of some of the different tubs that we make the rep absorbs for. We also do custom. We've made them as big as four by eight feet. So what's the whole reason behind reptiles? Or how'd you get across it? How'd you be? Well, I have people that have 150 ball pythons and they have racks and they were filled with pine shavings. And even though pine shavings and uh, coconut's great, at the end of the day, when you're changing hundreds and hundreds of tubs, that stuff ends up on the floor. It's dusty, um, yeah. you know, huge trash bags full. This stuff, you, you just wipe it, you know, if you can spot clean it, you just throw it away, put it in a new one and you're done. So the changing time can go from, you know, five or six hours just down to an hour. And then the amount of waste is substantially less and it doesn't make a mess with the dust getting all in between the, the racks and you have to vacuum everything out. It's just a-, a And they could all stuff. find that in the same website where all they do yeah, all the shipping, Yeah, right? absorbs, yeah. And if we don't have it there, you, you can always email us and we can quote you. It's just basically by the square inch. So look at this, this is all Reptazorb material right here. And what kind of material is it? What, What's it's, it? It's a it's a polyfiber, so basically it's all synthetic. So if it gets wet, it, it doesn't you can't tear it if it gets wet, it's the same strength 
and it dries really quickly. So, so if your snake goes to the bathroom on it, within usually a few hours, it's dry again. Yeah, so a lot of people are gonna say, oh, so what's the difference between this and just paper towels? So paper towels are gonna rip, paper towels not sanitary. Uh, if you get mold on, on paper towels, it's gonna happen really quickly where this is very, very anti-mold. And yeah, and it's pretty thick too, guys. It's not thin or anything. Well, we had a thinner material that we were testing out like a paper towel. And one of our, our clients that has ball python said, what happens is the ball python would push it with its nose and it would all just shrivel up into the corner. This stuff is rigid, so it does flex, but it's hard for the animal to, to bunch it up. And you know guys, I use paper towels. I've seen a couple of horror stories. Actually, it's happened to me before where the snake actually eats a paper towel. Like literally, it wraps around the rodent and then gets it and then they either get compacted and they could die. So it's something for you guys that use paper towels. Man, this Reptazorb stuff is amazing. And Scott, so all this right here, these are all deli cups. Right, so there's there's 500 in every box. We get in, you know, several pallets every every week. Yeah, and we punch holes in them. Nice. Look at this, man. This is amazing. I told you guys, man, there's so much more going on over here, but we'll touch that in another vlog, but it's so amazing. So one thing I'm gonna ask Scott, if he could actually pack some of the snakes that I brought over here, because he has a way of packing up snakes that honestly is probably the best way. Like say he's a pro at it. So let's ask him to see if he's willing to help. Hey Scott, I need a big favor. <laughs> could you show us how to pack up some snakes? Of course. Please, all right, awesome. <laughs> Matt, so here it is, the best way of shipping your snakes. Okay, so we have two adult-sized ball pythons. We wanna make sure we use a box to give them plenty of room. There's lots of things you can use. Shredded paper, watered up newspaper, people use the stuffing from inside of pillows. There's really no right or wrong way. Today we're using these because we had a shipment and they came in with the shipment and rather than throwing in the trash, we like to recycle. And plus air flows around the, the peanuts real well. So you always wanna make sure you put enough to cover the bottom. Uh, the boxes will get dropped. So you don't want your snake getting slammed on the floor. So you put enough for cushion. We're gonna try to leave a little bit of space all the way around. This way, again, if the, they get slammed, there's a little bit of cushion between the walls. I'm gonna try to get some in between the snakes. Now, one you, thing you told me, uh, this was I think last year, you don't poke holes on these boxes, right? So we don't poke holes. Um, the boxes are insulated, but they do breathe. So if you notice, and one more thing, today's mild here, it's barely in the 70s, and where it's going, it's only in the 50s at night. We're not gonna use heat, we're not gonna use uh, any kind of ice. Ball pythons, they'll be fine in this temperature. In the summer, you know, we do put one or two ice packs on the roof. We do wrap it in newspaper, which makes them last longer. And then of course the, the cool air will sink down. For heat packs, which we'll show you in the winter, we typically don't tape them there. We'll wedge them into the side. And that way the heat rises and it creates a little bit of a So convection. you don't put it in the bottom here like most everybody does? We don't put the heat packs on the top. Oh wow. Because the heat is rising. So if you put them down on the side, you're gonna get a lot more, more flow. And it's more circulation it's, it too. It still works on top, it's just we've always done it this way and it seems to work out really well and we do ship a lot of animals in Yeah, the so tell them, how much do you guys ship? Like, Well, I mean yesterday we probably shipped 500 animals, not 500 boxes, but 500 animals. We can ship four to 5,000 animals a month and yes. I've been shipping since 1994, so we've shipped that's insane. Hundreds That's of, a lot. Hundreds, hundreds of thousands of boxes and, and several million animals. Wow. Yeah. So now that everything is nice and cushy all the way around, um, one of these is probably a female, so you got to use pink. <laughs> yeah. You got to be, you got to be correct there. I'm going to put the top on, 
and you notice that there's always these holes. You know, this does breathe. So even if you don't poke holes, you're still gonna get plenty of airflow. Plus, you know, there's obviously more holes, you know, on the bottom. We like to do, and FedEx actually, it's, it's a mandate for them if you ship uh, through our services or anybody that's going with FedEx, they call it an age pattern. So you tape this way, you tape this way, and you tape this way. Now we've done that all winter long. We've never had a problem. We do it with ice packs, with heat packs. The heat packs still have plenty of air to breathe and that's the way we do it. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the office and we're gonna show you how to actually print a shipping label at home and that way you just drop it off at FedEx and you're done. Awesome. And by the way guys, these two snakes are going to Brock Wagner. Make sure you guys go check out Brock Wagner and give him a follow. Cool, cool guy and Brock Wagner. Your snakes are coming, brother. All right, so now you're gonna show us how to get our labels, right? Yep, yep. come to the office. Everybody, this is Brisa. She Dude. pretty much runs Hi, the show everyone. here. Anybody that's ordered definitely knows. Big shout out to Brisa. I can't tell you how many times I've called her and bugged her for the smallest things. She'll tell you guys, but big shout out to Brisa. Absolutely. <laughs> so you'll notice here it brings up the different shipping methods. FedEx requires you to use priority overnight. That gets to most locations by 1030 in the morning. You do not want a box sitting on somebody's doorstep in the sun all afternoon getting cooked. So you can see that the regular rate is $195.78. You save fifty eight seventy three with our thirty percent off, and because of Miguel, we're offering another twenty percent off of that, and we will give you the coupon code once we get to that page. Additional twenty seven dollars. Wow. That is a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. You got on the left there. So he says, yeah, there you go. That's this is the additional twenty percent. <laughs> You see that guys? That is super, super easy. Now we're gonna go finish off the box and then we're gonna ship it out. Okay, now we're actually gonna ship. One thing I wanna point out is we make a lot of different boxes. A one pound dimensional weight, a two pound dimensional weight. If you can fit your snake in a 776, don't put it in an 887. It's gonna cost seven, eight dollars more every time you go up an inch. So that's why we have so many boxes in different sizes. Shipping is getting expensive and it obviously goes up every year. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this on here. So again, we, make this H pattern. You always wanna have at least five or six inches of overlap. And then we put the label on. And then drop it off so it's right now here it's about it's almost one o'clock we are going to drop this off at five o'clock at fedex which is only a few miles away we do not want this bouncing around in some fedex truck even though it's not hot today the roof of the trucks they're opaque it's it's basically a rolling greenhouse and they get hot they can get well over 100 degrees even on a mild day always always go to the hub just to be safe and that's how you uh you ship a reptile well scott it was amazing over here man seriously man thanks for inviting yeah, me and guys take out. advantage of that man i mean you're not going to get that kind of deal anywhere but god just gave me a present man and it is well it's the amphibian that's all i'm gonna give you guys a hint so stay tuned i'm gonna show you guys in just a few but you'll see okay so i'm back home guys man how cool was that for scott to do that for you guys 20 percent off for this week on all shipping and then 15 percent on the next shipping and then free boxes dude you guys can't beat that man and that's where i've been shipping all of our reptiles for the last two years since we started doing this they're so great and it's so cool that we're collaborating doing this and trust me they're gonna be doing some other crazy giveaways so before i show you guys the another thing we're gonna be giving away check these little things that Scott gave me. Let's see, I'm not gonna do a full look at that. If you guys could take a guess, that would be cool. Put on the comments down below. Um, I will be showing them off in the next couple of vlogs once we get them set up. Yeah. But let me show you guys something real quick that they also gave me that we will be doing a giveaway as well. So this is another thing that they gave me and Mark did tell me that we will be doing a giveaway on this as well. He makes some custom swords. Check this out right here. Don't tread on me. You guys know who sang that song, right? Comment down below if you guys know. But man, this thing is so amazing. But you wanna see the coolest part about this? Bam, look at that. 
always evolving pythons. Man, dude, big shout out to Superior Shipping Supplies. Marks out, you guys are amazing. I mean, the cool things we're gonna be collaborating in the next couple of weeks is just unreal. And the hookups that they're doing is just insane. But again, you can get this at Campfire Art. They have an Instagram and I'll put their uh, website as well. Definitely you guys should go check out their stuff and get some customized stuff. And also make sure you guys go follow them because we will be doing a giveaway on some of these right here. And it, dude, as you can see, these things are amazing. What was Ace's sound effect? Shing, shing, shing. <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys so much. Well guys, that's it for the vlog. Maybe next time I'll take the whole wax squad over there to Superior Shipping Supplies. <laughs> um, again, all their information in the description down below. Take advantage of this sale, guys. It's amazing. And until next time, guys, appreciate all the support. Deuces.